Hello everyone, welcome back to Dry Racing and I'm back on iRacing today. We are in the Ferrari uh, GT3 fixed race at Fuji, the new map. New map, not, not first person shooter is it? The new track for this season. I uh, love this track uh, ever since I've been playing Gran Turismo. Um, so I'm really happy they've added it to iRacing. Uh, you're probably wondering where my beautiful face is. My face is not here as I've uh, I was just doing this as a normal race. Um, and I thought, oh, I'm not going to record it because I haven't raced in quite a while. And I did quite well. So I've saved the replay, managed to get all the overlays working for it. So I've recorded it. I'm going to do a little bit of a voiceover for it and uh, go through the, the events of the race. So this is um, as we get the green flag for go. We started P6, qualified there. I'm car number 10, but this is the top split. So these are the top competitors for the day. Um, it was early in the morning, so it's not a good number of competitors, but it was about four splits, so to be in the top split I was happy. As I just cover the inside here, make sure no one sends it up, uh, up the inside of me, and hold hold the apex so I can hold that P P6. So first lap is usually a bit of carnage on Ferrari fixed, so I'm just going to try a hold position, trying to look for gaps if any are there. You can take that corner and cut it quite, quite a lot if you want to. This corner is, I think, probably one of the hardest to get right here. Just get like a double apex as the car spins out there. Just come off the throttle to make sure he didn't reverse into me across the track. A lot of battling up ahead, but we've uh, obviously gained a little bit of a freebie there. So we're now back in P6 by the look of it. Um, big hairpin coming up down the bottom here in this configuration of the track. So we're going to have a little battle. I'm going to have a little look down the inside, send it, and manage to hold that apex and take a position there from the uh, red coloured Ferrari of Gregory Baliti when he comes back gives me a little tap 0x for that good little racing um, just after following back up now I have to hold it outside he has a bit of a wobble there and then as he turns in just loses that rear good evasive action by me uh, otherwise that would have been the end of my race as well so glad they came out of that one unscathed and now we're up into ooh, P5 as the other car goes around me because I lost a load of time evading Gregory. So me and Michael now uh, are going to be battling for quite a while uh, in this race. It's going to be some good racing. He's trying to break that slipstream, break that toe, so I can't overtake him. But look, this straight is so long. I think it's about a mile um, as we come down towards the uh, first hairpin corner. I hold the outside. I'm looking to cut inside. He's blinked and disappeared off the track. I didn't know where he was, so I've kind of took it easy on that corner because I didn't want to have any instance and just get sent off the track as he reappears out of nowhere. So I let him have that corner nice and easy as I didn't want uh, loads of time left. I've still got a good, you know, it's only the second lap. Loads of time to overtake him. I think I'm quicker than him. So um, it's just going to be about, be about patience. The tyres are starting to get warm now. Really looking to push the uh, grip levels of Ferrari. You can, with the new physics with the tyre models and stuff, you can really push the car out and uh, slide more on the limit without losing the, the car as, as badly. So we're still in P6, so we've either lost or gained 9.4 seconds off the lead. So. Um, I don't think we'll be catching up to them. He's a 4.2k I rating. Uh, as I'm trying to set myself up for this straight now, just to get, try and get a good run to him down the first corner. A little bit of a uh, loss of rear under braking there, but managed to control it. And we've got uh, Yoris behind, who's half a second off. Um, C license, 1.5k. So I'd like to think me and Michael will start moving away from uh, Yoris now. As we're doing 140s, low 140s, and the leaders doing 139s, and the, well, the leaders in a 138.6 is seven tenths quicker than P2, and uh, nearly two seconds quicker than us. So I don't think we'll be catching him up, especially as we're going to be battling. So um, aiming for you know top five, top five is the aim for the finish when I was uh, racing this. So just trying to settle into a rhythm now, just putting those consistent last time. These, these sort of races, consistency definitely. Uh, wins rather than uh, pure pace unless you're going for the, the actual win and you need to be fast and consistent like any mistake because now we're doing those 138s on full fuel I'll never know 
this is top split, so the racing's going to be a little bit better. Racecraft's going to be a little bit better, so we've got to find some good moves, some good opportunities. Really set myself up and make no mistakes. Having a look at the inside, just sitting in his mirror, trying to see if I can force him into some sort of mistake. But he's hitting the apex nicely, a little bit wide there, but I hit that sausage curb, which just sent my rear out. Managed to control it, but lost me a, a bit of time or my overtaking opportunity as I come out of that corner. So he's just going to sit in his uh, dirty air now and just try and keep up with him and hopefully he makes a mistake or hopefully I can gain a bit of time through some of the corners where I can then just send it up inside and try and uh, make that overtake while hopefully moving away from the cars behind so I don't have to worry about defending and just attacking which would be good. Starting to catch up now. The slipstream's very powerful down here, even though I was, you know, good half a second back. Again, around to the outside, send it a bit far, trying to then cut back, but then it's got a ton of, a bit of oversteer, then a load of understeers I got onto the throttle, so I lost out some time again there. But just trying to see what his sort of lines are, how he is under braking, and I think I'm better under braking than he is. But he's always got the line. He's a good, good defender, always holding the the line or the apex I need to try and cut back um, he loses a bit of speed on on that corner so that's something I've, I've banked for the future I noticed that he's struggling with the double apex and that really and holding him more of a wider line so I definitely gain you know a good couple of tenths through that corner so I've just got to try and set myself up for the, this this straight here try and force him into maybe a little bit of a mistake sending him wide on that that corner to help me throw it into this hairpin and, and then go off into the distance. I think I'm definitely quicker over one lap, but uh, he seems to be quicker in this last sector than I am. He seems to have a bit more uh, car control, especially up this, this corner. I, I seem to take a more shallower line and then a narrower apex than he does. And I think he just carries a bit more speed through those sets of corners, which then doesn't really set me up well for this straight. I really should be on his gearbox now, but uh, unfortunately just trying different lines, to try to carry a bit more speed and send it a bit wide, but no 1x there, so I've been going off track, so just learning the track still, and this is kind of the thing with every time we try a different car on these different tracks, the lines are always different, you know, there's a general sort of racing line, but to get the maximum out of the car, you have to try different lines. So point three behind, but no opportunity, so just try and send it onto his gearbox, just still let him know I'm there. But we're now 1.6 away from uh, Yoris behind, who's just starting to fall back, and he's got, I think, probably a bit of defending to do from Josh and Ravel behind him. So we're just going to set off, kind of our own little race. Um, I get as there, Michael sends it wide again. I think he's just trying to follow that race line, but I think it's a little bit quicker if you try and double apex it. Um, and I'm definitely better on the brakes through there, but I had a little bit too much more speed. I sent it wide, and it's a little bit bumpy there. Don't want to send it too much and say unsettle the car and potentially send it off the track, but it's pulled out a bit of a gap on me now. As we still can see the car's ahead in fourth and fifth, it's not too far away. I feel like we're five seconds ahead, so not getting away from us too much. But it's only a short 15 minute race with 11 minutes left, so like four minutes left, so yeah, a bit difficult at the moment to keep up. But Michael's my target now, that's what I was thinking. So that the, this overtake and at top five, I'd be really happy. Uh, our rating is really good. Good positive safety rating at the moment. No, I've got one X at the moment for one off track. Um, and we didn't get anything for that contact to start with the uh, with Gregory, which we've already spun. Which wasn't my fault, it was his own, mis own mistake. So, probably looking about three laps left now. Definitely three laps left uh, on the times. One minute 40 laps. Um, 140.2 for the last lap, and this time around, uh, 140.294. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm two tenths quicker than uh, Michael at the moment. As I'm just starting to sniff now. He's tyres are getting hot, and uh, I find I can control the car quite well still on hot tyres. But I think Michael's struggling, um, especially through some of the longer, harder corners on the tyres. I've cut a load of corner there, but still no one X. So I carried a load of speed through there as well as using all the track possible as Michael sends it wide there I'm carrying a bit more speed and I'm starting to sniff an opportunity now as I go wider into this corner he hits the sausage curb 
There was a car on the left there, which you can see on the replay on the top right. That was actually off the track. So a nice little free there. So I moved to P5. Mark had a bit of a problem on the sausage curb where it unsettled and he had to come out of the throttle. Now I've got the inside into this hairpin. So I hit all the way down to first and I'm going to literally slow down in the apex. Michael sends it and keeps it wide, which I was quite surprised that. I expect him to come and try and cut back in. I've now grabbed P4, so that was really good. Really happy with that overtake. Bit of patience uh, helped set up. I don't know if uh, Michael's unsettled by that car spinning because it probably was more in his eye line than mine. I didn't see it, so it was in my rear view mirror. So I reckon it probably unsettled him, uh, which is kind of benefiting me, which is racing, unfortunately. And I've pulled out a bit of a 0.8 of a gap onto this straight, so still in the slipstream, but not too close. Um, he had a better exit on the corner. He's a lot better on that last corner than I am. So just thinking, looking behind, looking, thinking about that slipstream, what's coming up. But I don't think he's close enough to make a move. Um, but it is a long way down, and you're constantly looking backwards as you make your way down this pitch straight. So big braking zone here. Make sure you're hitting this apex. You don't want to leave the door open for anyone to send it. As Michael is getting a bit aggressive now. He's using all the track. All over that red and white curb. Trying to keep up with him. He's got the slipstream now. So he's going to be all over my gearbox. Um, let's see what Michael can do. Uh, as I carry a lot more speed here. and start to pull away a bit. Especially on the brakes here. So I pulled up two tenths through that corner. Really nice hit at the apex, but it's just got a lot of traction slip there, but it's really good. Carried a load of speed, pulled away from Michael a bit here. Three tenths now, so I'm up to 0.8. And now the aim is to finish these next kind of two laps, three laps ahead of Michael. I'm just holding there as I just go a little bit wide for that hairpin and not carry too much speed. It's just allowed Michael to close the gap a little bit as we're coming up to his favourite sector on the on the track. A little bit of a moment there, the rear one trying to step out, it couldn't carry as much speed through. Had to come out the throttle, back onto the brakes. So now Michael's only half a second behind me. This is he's got a good corner here. You know he's only 0.3 behind me, so now I'm trying to thinking about breaking that toe. Trying to move left and right. It probably more slow me down than anything, but all over my gearbox. So I'm just gonna hold the inside line now and just hope that I'm be better on the brakes than he is, but it should be we should be about level when it comes to the braking zone. If he moves that wide now, it gives me loads of room. It's very nice of him. I couldn't have moved that wider. What I've done now is I open the door to him because he's going to come back quicker. He's not got the outside line, so I'm going to hold the inside because I need the inside line here for this left-hand corner. He backs out, gives me the space, which is good, and I'm back onto my favourite corner of the track. Definitely a lot quicker through here. Pulled out that half a second again, which is good. So just try, trying to get that time up in this sector. So when it comes to that sector, I've got a bit more room to defend and make mistakes if I if I have to. I know I don't want to, but uh, I probably will. So we're 15, 16 seconds off the lead now, so nowhere near, and I don't think we're getting that podium about seven seconds off the podium so don't think we're getting that so this is the battle for fourth now between me and Michael I don't think uh, sixth place is going to have anything to do with it I have to go really wide in the last corner which does not help me for this straight so Michael's going to have a really good run and he's carrying a lot more speed and I'm going to look to defend again Didn't get close enough really. He has a little look. I move over to the right to defend. Still on the throttle, so that was okay. One movement. But he has a really, really good corner. Carries a load of speed and sends it up the inside. And I've got to come out now as I don't want to get this off track. So now he's back in front, Michael. Try and get around to the outside of him. I thought, ooh, maybe be a bit slow over those curbs, but wasn't too slow and he's seemed to have copied my line a bit as we go through that double apex so I think he's learned a bit as well. He 
and hits the apex really nice and he seems to have uh, composed himself through this sector. So now it's uh, basically a one lap, two lap sprint to the finish and uh, who can make the least mistakes. So again, looking at the inside, trying to make him wary, see if he'll cut across, trying to compromise his own line, hopefully, so I can uh, gain some speed through this sector. Uh, trying to be really aggressive, but it's to my detriment at the moment, it's hitting a few of the bumps and curves and settling myself and struggling to get that power down, especially the tyres are over 100 degrees on the left now. Big, big drift moment there. I managed to hold it, which is good, but that's set me back. You know, good 0 0.6, 0 0.7 of a second and through his best sector on the track. So now I'm just using that toe just to keep up with him. This to bring me back into contention. So this is coming up to uh, last lap now. So on my screen, I've got race labs running, so it tells me white flag, white flag, which is good. It tells me I've got one lap left. This is confusing. Michael is uh, thinks it's over. So he parks his car. He then sends me a private message saying good racing. And he believes that's in the race. So he's just thrown away his P4. Unbelievably thrown away his P4. Uh, which then leaves me. I, I just carried on racing thinking, well, I didn't know. So I thought I'll do one more lap just to make sure. But it's showing white flag. My crew chief was saying, could keep going, one lap to go. So I think uh, Michael needs to invest in some race labs. It is free. And uh, try and figure out when actually the last lap of the race is. But unfortunately, Michael, you've given, gifted me that P4. I think you probably would have won it with the way you were driving at the end there, unfortunately. It was really good racing with you. But uh, I'll take that P4 at all the points. So uh, as we come through the last sector, Michael's, you can't see it, but he's PMing me saying, good racing, GG. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't, I don't think he even realised until I'd messaged him after I jumped into pits that it was all over. Um, so I can imagine he's gutted because that probably put him in last place because he stopped and pitted, just automatically went to the pits. So uh, unfortunately for Michael, uh, he's out of the race, but fortunate for me, that's P4 in top split. As you can see on the relative, that Michael's dropped all the way down uh, into the pits. and. Uh, a good finish for me P4 I'll take it in top split thank you very much I hope you enjoy the racing uh, sorry it wasn't uh, my usual normal standard of pace and everything but it was really good fun hope you enjoyed it take care and I'll catch you again see you